Good morning everybody from Glendale, Arizona. Today we're flying this 1975 Cessna 182 over to Grapevine Airstrip just east of Phoenix, Arizona. Come along and sit right seat with me as I show you in the day in the life of an aircraft salesman and a videographer. Let's go get this started. Cessna 182. As you can see here, this avionics panel is absolutely insane. We have a G5, a G3X, a 750, I think this is a 355, a Garmin transponder here, the GFC 500 autopilot, and a JPI EDM 930 engine monitoring system. What a setup. This is awesome. I flew this from Grand Junction back to uh, here in Glendale when I picked this airplane up from our client. And wow, it flew like a dream. Cannot wait to get this up in the air today. Let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to go and grab the ATIS here in Glendale, and then we'll get our before taxi checks done. Glendale Tower, information Bravo, time 1248 Zulu. Wind variable at 4, temperature 20, dew point 2, altimeter 290, manner 4. Expect visual approach, runway 1 is in use. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Bravo. All right, we got Bravo. Okay, we're gonna plug in ground, 118.0, that's set, and our tower, 121.0, is also in our standby. Perfect, all right. Run the before taxis. Yep, seat belts, I'm secure. Flaps are up, he is not required. Avionics are set. ATIS, we have it, we have Bravo. Transponder is squawking. Yep, we got the radios good. Taxi light will get on the way out. Test the brakes and all of our instruments. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Parking brake is coming off. All right, my brakes are checked. They work. We're going to start making our way out here. Get our taxiway diagram up. So Glendale Airport is a class Delta airport just to the northwest side of Phoenix. Um, pretty busy airport. It's probably one of the, the lesser busy class deltas in, in the Phoenix area, but uh, still any delta here in the Phoenix area is, is pretty busy. So we're going to call up ground here for taxi. Glendale ground, Skylane 1803 Mike, ramp 4 information, bravo for a northeast departure. System 1803 Mike, Glendale ground, runway 1, taxi V Alpha, confirm you have information, bravo. 1 V Alpha, affirmative, we have bravo. Is it there, Mike? Okay, we're going to go up to 3,500 initially. We're going to set that in our altitude pre-selector. We're going to set our heading mode to runway 1, so we're going to go 0, 1, 0 on the heading. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, I am actually an aircraft salesman. Me and my buddy Peyton, who you guys know from the, uh, the Phenom 100 flight vlog, uh, he's my business partner. We've been working together, doing some uh, crazy sales stuff. And also, I've been doing some contract stuff, doing some ferry flights here and there. I've been doing some videography work. My bread and butter right now is working on the sales side of things, doing stuff like this, taking airplanes out, especially this 182. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, taking it out, taking some pictures of it, doing some videos with it, and just kind of showcasing all the cool things that this airplane has to offer, and then uh, uploading that all to Controller, where we have our sales listing. So I'll link the controller ad to this airplane down below in the description. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, and if you guys are ever interested and would like pictures taken or videos taken of your airplane that you're trying to sell, or just in general, if you just want some pictures, please hit me up. Uh, I would love to help you guys out. Uh, my email is down below in the description box. So if you guys are, are definitely interested, please send me an email and uh, we can make something happen. Okay, before takeoffs are complete, we're gonna switch over to tower. And we're going to pull up to the hold short lines, and we'll give Tower a call that we're ready for departure. Glendale Tower, Skyline 1803 Mike, short of runway 1, ready for departure. Tahawk 1803 Mike, Glendale Tower, northeast bound departure is approved, runway 1, clear for takeoff. Northeast bound approved, runway 1, clear for takeoff, 1803 Mike. Okay, final is clear. The runway's clear, we're all lit up. 
Okay, mixtures and props high. Let's go flying. And a throttle's coming up. Power set. Instruments are good. Airspeed's alive. There's our rotation. We're up and away. This thing climbs like a beast. We're getting <laughs> unreal climb performance right now. All right, we're gonna bring the brought back to 2,500 RPM. We're gonna go 25 squared. There we go. And we're climbing away. Okay, we're gonna be climbing up to 3,500 feet. We're gonna start making that right-hand turn. Yeah, we were getting almost 2,000 feet a minute on that climb out right there. That was awesome. This thing's a beast. 1,000 to go. This is 1803 Mike. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, 1803 Mike. Good day. Throttle profit mixtures are set. Cow flaps closed. Instruments are good. Okay, we're coming up on Scottsdale. I'm going to go ahead and contact Scottsdale Tower. And we're going to ask it for a transition to Fountain Hills. Scottsdale Towers, good morning. Skyline 1803, Mike. We're about 10 to the southwest, uh, requesting a transition eastbound towards Fountain Hills at 3500. November 1803, Mike. Scottsdale Tower transition is approved as requested. Scottsdale Terminus 3002. Transition approved, 3002. 03, Mike, thanks. All right, 3002. I see the airport dead ahead of us. If you look down here at the iPad, we're going all the way to the east side of Phoenix and we're going to this little tiny strip right here along what's called Roosevelt Lake. And to get there, we're actually gonna fly through this little canyon right here. It's called the Salt River Canyon. And it's absolutely beautiful. It is essentially a mini Grand Canyon. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. But be sure to stay tuned. If you guys are enjoying the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, turn on the notifications and it'll notify you when I upload a new video. And just off to our left hand side is Scottsdale Airport. That's where I've spent the majority of my time flying out of here. Awesome airport. Definitely can be busy at times, but uh, I love it. Alright guys, time to break out the sunglasses. It's about to be bright. So you guys might be asking yourself, oh Lep, what kind of sunglasses are those? These are Flying Eyes sunglasses, and I am very happy to announce that I am now officially a brand ambassador for Flying Eyes. If you know me personally, I've never been a sunglasses person, but these have changed the game completely. And the reason behind that is, on most sunglasses, the, the band that connects the glasses to your ear is very, very thick. So as a result of that, it breaks the seal of your headset. In the case of the A20s, we have the active noise cancellation. So when we break that headset seal, it doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. It, it, it makes things super loud. But the Flying Eyes here, make all the difference in the world. And the reason for that is the band here is very, very thin. So it does not break the seal of the headset. So I can fly around with my A20s all day long and not have to worry about breaking that headset seal and having it be super noisy in here. So it is very, very nice. And I've been wearing these everywhere. So if you guys are interested, link is down below in the description for Flying Eyes. You can use the discount code LEP for a discount uh, once you check out. But uh, again, thanks for Flying Eyes, for sponsoring the video. Absolutely amazing. And now we're going to start getting into the beautiful canyons over here. And you're, you're going to see what I mean. It is one of the most beautiful flights that you will ever do. Yeah, we got 27 knots of wind over top of the canyons today. It's been really bumpy, but uh, boy, is this such a gorgeous flight. That up there straight ahead of us is Theodore Roosevelt Lake. And Grapevine is gonna be straight out to the bridge up there and a right-hand turn. 
All right, we're going to switch over to the CTAF 122.9er. Yeah, guys, this Garmin G3X is awesome. The cool thing about this is you can actually split your PFD here to have your PFD on the left and almost like an MFD on the right. But you can transition that by clicking the top right of the screen here, and now you've got a full screen PFD with everything backed up on your GTN 750 right there. What a cool setup. This thing is awesome. All right, guys, we are on the descent into Grapevine. I've got the airport in sight out ahead of us. What we're going to do is we're going to overfly the field and kind of gauge where the wind is coming from, and then we'll make a decision of where we're going to land from there. All right, where's that windsock? All right, looking like it's right, uh, yeah, a little bit of a left crosswind off of 17. That's where we're going to go. Grapevine traffic, Skylane 1803 Mike, uh, turn into the uh, left downwind runway at 17 Grapevine. Okay, there's the end of the runway. We're going to get the manifold back, we're going to get the prop up, and our speed checks, we're going to go flaps to 10. Grapevine traffic, Skylane 03 Mike, left base 17, full stop, Grapevine. We're in the white, we're going to get flaps to 20. Grapevine traffic, Skylane 03 Mike, turning final, 17, Grapevine. Down. We're going to get that power to idle. Nice. And we're going to let it roll. Alright guys, welcome to Grapevine. I told you this airport was out in the middle of nowhere, but man is it beautiful here. We're going to park up, we're going to throw the drone up in the air, we're going to get some cool shots, and uh, we'll catch back with you guys here in a little bit. guys, let's get going back to Glendale. Okay, we're clear over here. Clear it on the left. All right, let's run her up. Okay, off the brakes, we're going. Air speeds up. start making our way back up through the canyon over here. We're going to climb up a little bit higher this time. We're going to go up to 6,500 just to see if we can get above these bumps. It was pretty windy coming over here, so we can see if we can't avoid some of them. Northeast back to area, Red Rock 45 over the campground, the 4,500 feet. Oh, northbound, northeast. Oh, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Northeast practice area, Skyline 1803 Mike. We are forward to the north of Canyon Lake, 6,800 descending to 4.5, heading towards Fountain Hills, northeast. One of the other cool things about this airplane that I didn't mention before, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but right above my head and right above the passenger seat too, there's skylights. I've never seen these before in, in an airplane that I've flown, and I actually really, really like it. It's like it's like a sunroof in the car, basically, but it uh, gives a few extra inches of headroom too, which is great. All right, guys, take a look at the iPad down here. Look at how many airplanes are at the Falcon Field Delta right now. That is unbelievable. Let's let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 airplanes in that class Delta air, airspace right now. I cannot believe that. That is unreal. I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, tragically, a few weeks ago, we had a giant monsoon come through the Phoenix area, and actually it decimated Falcon Field. There were probably 40 or 50 airplanes that got totaled um, because a microburst went through the airport, as, as far as, as we know. But just absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like it. I got a few videos of it. I'll, I'll throw some of the, the clips that I got up on the screen here, but the carnage was just unbelievable. Cannot believe that happened. All right, see if we can't grab the ATIS into Glendale. Veteran 5005, temperature 27, dew point 2, altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. Visual approach, runway 1 in use. Herm advisors look special air traffic rule in effect. Advisors will contact you via information echo. Echo. Yeah, if you take a look at the houses down there, the houses are unbelievable. This is Paradise Valley, which is the richest community in Arizona. Yep, and I see a few people on top of Camelback. Tower 5 2 4 just let you know we got a flock of birds on Benfield. Alright, we're approaching 10 miles. I'm going to go ahead and give Glendale Tower a call. Glendale Tower, good morning. Skyline 1803 Mike, we're 10 to the east with Echo, full stop. Cessna 1803 Mike, Glendale Tower. Enter a right downwind, runway 1, report crossing over the power plant. Alright, midfield, right downwind, runway 1, we'll report over the power plant. Uh, is it there, Mike? Alright, four landings. Landing light, let's get That's that on. One, four, three, three, Fox, Autopilot Fox, will defer, AC, we don't Fox, have it. Seatbelts, I'm secure, miles, mixture, we're gonna keep bringing it up. Carp, he will get on once we're in the downwind. Fuel is good and flaps to go. We'll be on the lookout, 430 Fox, thank you. And tower, uh, 1803 Mike is over the power plant. System 1803 Mike, roger enter the right downwind, runway one, and report midfield. Right downwind, runway one, we'll report midfield, 1803 Mike. And there it is, guys. State Farm Stadium, just off our left wing. That's cool. All right, autopilot's coming off. Cessna 1803, Mike, runway 1, clear to land. You're going to be inside of Cessna, about 5 miles south of the field. All right, runway 1, clear to land, uh, 03, Mike. Cessna 52436, number 2, following that Cessna, runway 1, clear touch and go. All right, holding 70 knots, coming down. All right, power's Mike coming down. 119, Golf X-ray, follow number three, following the Cessna, two miles ahead of you in the downwind, runway one, clear touch and go. Number three, runway one, clear touch and go, look for traffic, lights for 119, Golf X-ray. Very nice. Cessna 03, Mike, turn left, Alpha 6, Texas Park V, Alpha, monitor ground. Alpha 6, Alpha, monitor ground, 03, Mike, good day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Glendale. That was awesome. Really hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was awesome to make. I'm so fortunate I get, to, I get to do this for a living. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on this channel. Stay tuned. There's so much more to come. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care. We'll see you.